Hamilton. Thanks so much for joining me for today's look into the Florida State Seminoles, or what's left of them. Uh, before I go and follow here, subscribe button, turn on the notification. You know, I'm old enough, I, I can remember stuff that's come and gone. I remember Quincy Steakhouse. How many people remember them? Barely remember Poe, folks. That was a, another restaurant. Food related. Uh, Steve Urkel came and gone. Uh, lots of stuff come and gone since then. Was trying to be collective. Came up with nothing. Now, I've already done a video on the Miami Hurricanes and their low hanging fruit of come and gone. This next team, that's their greatest fear. In fact, they lay in bed at night. And they have visions of a straw hat wearing Bobby Bowden. Or maybe a five o'clock shadow beard on Jimbo Fisher as the Greeks took the field. Winning national championships and dominating college football. And all of a sudden it shrivels up and the next face they see is the Miami Hurricanes. But this time peering back in the mirror is themselves. Florida State has had some rough seasons for the past, I don't know, three years. Last year, got rid of Taggart in the middle of the season. Um, I think they shouldn't have fired him. I think they should have given him to at least the end of the year. Um, if you're going to make a hire, it doesn't make sense. Stick with it, baby. Stick with it. He was 6-6 six and six at Oregon, and it didn't make sense. But they, they went there. I'm, if, I, if I'm Taggart, I don't, blame, I don't blame him for taking the job. They're offering you more money. Here's more money. Come back to Florida. That was their bad, not his. And now they got, what's that, Mike Norvell from Memphis. Runs that kind of, it's, it's a really intelligent pro style kind of offense, you know. It's really upbeat. Run a bunch of yards, score a bunch of points. And hey, look, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We are the school that had Chad Morris at it. And we, we ran the score up and had a bunch of yards too. So this will be his first season. He does have some good players. But we've seen a lot of teams blow it with good players. We've also seen a lot of guys who comes out of teams like Memphis, uh, they do really well at Memphis, they kick tail, and then they come to a bigger school and much more is demanded of them and really don't suck it up, but they are not incredible like they were. People can shut down their, their, their offenses. They can shut, most of the time it's offensive mind. You don't really see a, oh, we're getting this great defensive coach out of the MAC. You don't see it. It's most of the time it's offense because they believe they can score points enough start building the team. So I get the whole philosophy and such. And he does have his work cut out for him because he's got to get his players in there. But the question is, how is he going to do it? Now, he's got James Blackman coming back who's going to start at quarterback. You know, James Blackman's what, six foot five, 114 pounds. At Young and I, I've seen him get hit multiple times. One time, I thought he got broken in half, and he got right back up, so I give it to him. He's basically elastic, but he's coming back. You do lose cow makers, and big hats off to cow makers. During a time where people transfer, Lord, they transfer as much as I would change my underwear, have a little bladder problem, so every now and again, I pee a little. I mean, it just kind of dribbles down there, and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to walk around smelling pee all day, be embarrassed. I ain't nasty. Get in there, change my underwear. But he stayed, and he graduated. Everybody was that's a really good job. And it was, okay? He stuck with his team. But they lose Cam Bakers, just somebody who is a brute of a football player. Uh, who else did they lose right here? Let me look at this. Got my notes. <sighs> Stanford Samuels the third. I like the thirds and hyphenated names. I always want one. I might marry myself. And then Trey McKitty. He's a tight end. That was really, yeah, that was incredible. Uh, coming back, you do have Marvin Wilson, a big defensive tackle, and Tamarian, Tamarian, Terry, wide receiver guy for play some football. 
Uh, Santi Samuel, cornerback. I mean, you got you got a lot of good players coming back. Now on the offensive side, it's kind of slim. You, you got the part of your line coming back, part of your wide receivers. Of course, I, I already talked about uh, uh, about that uh, uh, Cam Akers, and you got that Deshaun Corbin. Okay, so he committed to Fisher when Fisher was at Florida State, and when Fisher went to Texas A and M, he said, "I'm going with Fisher." Gets out there and decides he's going to transfer. So from what I understand, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's not like it, it's not like I'm really blowing it here with this team, uh, but um, it looks like he's going to be eligible to play. Most likely, that's going to be you running back. All right. So your schedule looks like this, and I'm going to rattle it off like like an auction. So uh, if you really care and you're like, I wish they would slow down, go look it up yourself. Uh, you got the 2020 schedule. West Virginia, Samford, Samford, not Stanford, but you're probably not going to play football anyway. They're going to be scared to death with masks on. But, I mean, college football not playing in California, are we really missing that much? Nah. Uh, at Boise State, at NC State, Clemson, Wake Forest, Louisville, that'd be really good again. Uh, Pittsburgh, Miami, Boston College, Syracuse, Florida. I ain't gonna waste any more of your time. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Florida State, you can win a bunch of games with the talent you got right now. And I know you got a new coach and you got a new system. And and <clears throat> off season practicing, you haven't got to do as much practicing as you'd like because of this whole COVID thing, okay? I get it. I get it. I, 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 I get all of that bunch of stuff. I said this to Miami. And I believe y'all are notch better than Miami at this point. I'm talking about that. I know you're like, I'm a Seminole. I'm not the U. And then, and then the U's going, how dare you? Say? Just shut up. Both of you have been losing recently. And Miami, you've been doing it for a long time. Florida State does have that edge on you. I mean, I can actually not have to use all my toes to count all the years back to when they were actually last good. You, I have to get my entire family to pull their shoes off and count how many years back. But Florida State, you have the talent. You can line up and beat the majority of the teams that's on your schedule this year. You really can. You can line up and play good football. You still have some good players. You still have the whole Seminoles thing going for you. You still have Dope Camel. People walks into that place and then you can get it loud. Start getting people excited again. Start giving them some wins. Win the games you, that, that, that you're supposed to win and win those mediocre games where you're like only like a five-point or less, you know, underdog. That's a lot of your schedule. You, you can do a lot of that. I mean, realistically, you could win every game save Clemson and Florida. Really. You really could. Did I miss anything there? Boise State could be a problem, but you could definitely beat them. But you really could line up and lose only two games this year. If you bust your tail, everybody sends together. Um, another case scenario, uh, you come out there, you stink it up. You obviously lose to teams like Clemson and Florida. But you lose to Louisville. You lose to uh, Boise State. You drop a, drop a game here and there to Watsy Hoosy, and you're done. Yet another disappointing season down in the books. Say, so wait till next year. So uh, yeah, we will see. We will see. I, I I won't hold my breath because I'm afraid I'll end up blue. And um, I like breathing. I like color. Um, I'm getting a little pasty right now. I need to get outside and get me some, take my shirt off. Remind my wife why she married me. Well, listen, I'm Bobby Durkins. You hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. I'd love to hear what you think, even though I might hate it. I'm Bobby Durkins. You keep showing up, I'll keep showing out. Bobby Durkins.